Hello, my name is Vivek and I produce content for Strata Scratch. Today, we'll be looking at solving probability questions that have appeared in data science interviews at top companies. Before we start, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already to ensure that you get updates on our videos as and when they are released. Probability questions appear both simple and challenging at the same time. Each problem involving probability eventually reduces to a simple relationship. Probability is simply defined as the number of favorable outcomes over the number of all possible outcomes. The challenge is to compute these two cases correctly. Probability questions are very popular in data science interviews. The common topics involve games of chance, probability distributions, expected values, and the Bayes theorem. Let us start with a simple problem. This problem came up in a meta earlier Facebook data science interview. The problem says, what is the probability of drawing two cards from the same suit? Assume that the cards are not replaced. Links to this problem, as well as all the other problems discussed in this video are available in the description. Let us try to solve this problem intuitively. We can determine if the two cards match only after the second card is drawn from the deck. After the first card is drawn from the deck, let's say in our case, the six of spades, there are 51 cards left in the deck. Of these, 12 are spades. Therefore, there are 12 favorable outcomes out of the remaining 51. Hence, the probability is 12 on 51 or 4 in 17. We can also solve this mathematically. The all possible cases is easy to calculate. We need to arrange any two cards from a full deck. This can be done in 52p2 ways, which results to 52 times 51 or 2652 cases. To calculate the favorable cases, we need to first choose which of the four suits we would like to double up. Therefore, we have four choices. Once we have fixed the suit, we can draw two cards from the same suit in a similar manner as earlier. This will be 13 P two ways. Therefore, the total favorable cases would be four times 13 times 12 or 624. We can therefore calculate the required probability as 624 favorable cases in 2,652 cases. This again results to 4 in 17. Let us increase the difficulty level a bit. The next problem came from a Yammer data science interview. The problem says, find the probability that in a room of 7 people, at least 2 will have the same birthday. Assume that there are 365 days in a year and the value of k is less than or equal to 365. In simple terms, we need to find if there are k people in a room, at least two of them have the same birthday, which means two of them, at least two of them are born on 5th of January or 12th of December and so on. Unlike the previous problem, where repetitions were not possible. Here, the birthdays might fall on the same day. Therefore, for each of these k number of people in the room, there are 365 possible scenarios for each person. Therefore, all possible outcomes becomes 365 times 365 times so on to k times. This results to 365 to the power k. To find the favorable cases, it would be easier to find the unfavorable cases. And from the unfavorable cases, we can find favorable cases as all possible outcomes less the number of unfavorable cases. So let's try to find what are the number of unfavorable cases. To accomplish this, we need to understand that unfavorable cases mean that none of the K people have the birthdays on the same day. We can think of it in the following manner. Let's assume that there are 365 seats in a room, each numbered with a calendar date, like 1st of Jan, 2nd of Jan, so on till 31st of December. 
Now, each person is required to sit on a seat which is numbered with his or her date of birth. So the first person has 365 options. The second person cannot take the same seat as the first one. So he will have 364 options and so on. This is same as 365 PK or arranging K items out of 365. We can therefore calculate the favorable cases. This will be all possible outcomes less the unfavorable cases or 365 to the power k less 365 pk. And the probability is 365 to the power k less 365 pk over 365 to the power k. We finally finish off this session with a problem that is harder than it actually looks. This one is from a Jane Street data science interview problem. This one says, what is the probability of getting exactly three tails when flipping four fair coins simultaneously? It is known that at least two tails show up. The easiest way to solve this problem is to visualize the scenarios. When we flip four coins, there can be two to the power four or 16 possible outcomes. Their distribution can be split in the following manner. You can get all four heads. This is possible in only one way. You can get three heads or one tail. This can be accomplished in four ways. You might also get two heads or two tails, which is possible in six of these 16 cases. Similarly, one heads and three tails is possible in four different ways and four tails are possible only in one way. As it's given that at least two tails show up, the four heads scenario and the three heads and one tail scenario are not possible. This leaves us with 16 minus 5 or 11 possible cases. Of these, the only favorable cases are the ones where we get one head and three tails. Therefore, the probability is 4 in 11. That completes our session on probability questions for data science. You can solve these and many more such problems on Strata Scratch. Join a community of over 50,000 fellow aspirants committed to work towards top data science jobs at companies like Netflix, Meta, Noom, and others. Sign up today and make your dream of getting a top data science job a reality. Till we meet again the next time, goodbye, stay safe, all the best.